hello you guys good morning welcome back to a weekend in my life video it is saturday um it is october um no not october that's kind of really weird i don't know why i just said that it is january 23rd um my lashes are looking rough my brows are looking rough we're just not gonna discuss it today's an off day it's already almost two o'clock I've been up for a while. I've kind of had a slow morning. Got up, got ready, I painted my nails. Evan and I kind of like tidied up around the apartment a little bit. And now I'm about to head out. I need to film my Mandy's Monthly Music Monday. And I am going to also meet my mom out. I have a bunch of stuff I need to get. I like basically ran out of all my makeup at the exact same time. So I need to do a serious Ulta trip. And a few things at Target. And we'll probably just do some other shopping as well because you know us. If you're new here, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I post a video. Join the lovely little fam. This week that you guys are watching this, you're watching this on, I think, Tuesday. I am currently implementing a super strict um, schedule. I have been like wanting to do this for like a really long time because now that you know social media is my full-time job and everything i need to treat it like that and you know i always make sure to get like the work done but i feel like i definitely need a more structured schedule so yesterday friday right now i spent the entire day going through um planning out content creating a schedule um to hold that like accountable and yeah so there will be a week in my life video coming very soon for you guys well next it's going to be here on sunday so you guys can see that and that is going to be my weekly schedule i'm going to give it a shot um there should be tons of content coming your way on all platforms so watch out get excited um, I finally feel like really motivated and excited for all of this. So let's do it. I'm going to go grab all of my stuff and head out the door. My mom has been waiting for me for a little bit. So let's get on the road. Okay, guys. So I just got to my destination with my mom. I just finished filming Manny's Monthly Music Monday. I had to stop and get gas because all of a sudden my gas light was on and I'm not sure how long it had been on and I was really afraid I was gonna break down on the highway. But we're here, we're gonna do some shopping. We're gonna run into um, Marshalls, Ulta, HomeSense, and then Target. Let's go. Hello friends, I've been such a bad vlogger today oh my god this lash has been coming off all day and it's been driving me absolutely insane i apologize i apologize i haven't um shown you guys anything but i will be doing a haul um i didn't get much but i just got basically all necessities and there's something i'm really excited about so <laughs> So, um, the first thing is the thing that I'm really excited about. If you guys have like kind of seen in the room, I'm gonna show you when I go in there. But actually, first I need, well now then you're not gonna be able to hear me. I need to dry our sheets. When I was shopping for our bedroom, I found like my, basically our side tables are the main thing that I designed like our room around. I just like fell in love with them when I saw them. I literally almost cried. My mom was like trying to talk me out of them and I was like, I literally cannot do this. So I just love them so much. And so I ended up decorating our room around those basically. So when we were looking for lamps for the side table, I found the one that we have and I just thought it was like the perfect thing. I felt like it like tied in every aspect of like what I had like pictured for the room and it just like matched so perfectly. Like I, if I could like design a lamp for the room, it would be that. So I saw it, there was only one I needed to get it and Evan had been like, I don't really need a lamp on my side but I knew I wanted one. So I was like, okay, fine, there's only one, whatever. But it has driven me nuts ever since we moved in it just looks unfinished in there that there's not a lamp on both sides. So I have been looking and looking and looking. I bought that lamp probably in October. 
definitely in October. I've been looking since. I haven't been able to find one. My mom has looked every time she goes shopping and she shops like every day. And I had just given up at this point, trying to find another lamp. But my mom, every time she's like, let's go look in the lamps, let's go look in the lamps. Today, my prayers were answered. I found that they actually had two. It was so weird because my mom was like, should we go look for the lamp? And I was like, yeah, sure. And there was one that looked like kind of like it, but it was just like, it didn't have a lampshade, which this lampshade, I don't know if you can tell, is like a leather shade, so it just makes it even better. It had like a big, like marble bottom, like a black marble bottom, and then it was just like, I think a gold, like straight thing. There was no circle. And I was like, like I could make this work. Like, uh, I don't know. I was like, kind of like, eh. And I was like, huh, whatever. I'm just gonna like look around. And then I literally saw it, and I'm like, I feel like I saw yelled pretty loud i was like there it is like the whole time we were in the store my mom kept going there it is there it is because i literally like freaked out so um i found my second lamp i'm so excited i feel like the room is gonna look so finished now i'm just so happy so there's that and then when we first walked in the store they have these boxes i, I don't know if you guys saw my last vlog um i think it was the last one i got this like coffee table box to put our like remotes in and stuff like that and they had this one which again just like matches the vibe of our little side table so well and i initially was going to get it for evan's side because he has like nothing on his that was before i saw the lamp but i'm the one that like keeps a ton of like junk on my side table so i'm thinking i'm going to put it on my side and then i can keep like all my chapsticks, my medicine, everything in here. And it'll just look more tidy. So love that. Those are both from HomeSense. I don't know why I always forget what that store is called. I think it's HomeSense. When we moved in, it was like fall. And so I had all of these like yummy smelling like fall candles. And we constantly had them burning. And it just always smelled so good in here. And then I had like yummy Christmas candles and I, I've never had like just plain candles, non-seasonal. I was on the hunt and I just haven't been able to find one that I really like. I feel like I'm really picky with scents. Um, I like really like clean smelling things or like, I don't know, just like yummy smelling candles. I don't know. So this one I found at TJ Maxx. It is by DW Home and it's the scent Clean the Kitchen and it smells exactly like that. This is going to drive me nuts the whole time, my lash coming off. It basically just smells like you just like Lysol wiped everything, but in the best way possible. It smells so good. So I'm just gonna keep this like burning in the kitchen and I think it's just gonna make everything smell so nice. Um, another thing, so initially when we moved in to our apartment, I didn't have like a shower curtain picked out for our bathroom. My mom literally just like had, she's in the process of like wanting to redo the bathroom at home. And she had the shower curtain just like laying around at home. I couldn't decide on one. And so she was like, you just take this one for now and just use it. And so I've just like had that one up. It's fine. It, I don't not like it. It just like doesn't hit me as like, I don't know. I just don't love it, I guess. So I've just been like randomly looking as like we go shopping and stuff. And this one today kind of like really stuck out at me. I just feel like it's more the vibe of like the rest of our apartment. It's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. Like not that our apartment is regal looking, but like it's like fancier if that makes any sense, but it's still like a basic white curtain. So I'm gonna see how that looks. Um, I just, it jumped out and I liked it. So I figured I would try it. If it doesn't work, I'll return it and yeah. Okay, I have this other candle. I wasn't planning on getting another candle, but I found this one and I was like, oh my God, Evan, you have to smell this and tell me what it smells like to you. Why do I feel like it doesn't smell like that now? <laughs> I'm so confused. Well, kind of. Okay. Mm -hmm. What does this smell like to you? Like cologne. 
Okay, well, now I was thinking that. Does it smell like the like main area down there to you? No. Doesn't? It did to me. I literally opened it and I was like, oh my god, it's like the that place. Our like well like main like shared area where like our gym is and like stuff like where the main office is smells so good. Every time we go in there, I'm like, I need to know what the scent is. And I felt I like got this candle and it made me think of it. I feel like it doesn't as much now that I'm home, but I don't know. I still think it's gonna smell good. This is from Target. It's Mandarin Orange Blossom with notes of jasmine and blonde woods. Heads up, if you go to get this candle, they have several scents that look exactly the same. You have to like read the tag. So I didn't really love the other ones. One of them was fine, but one was like not that great. This is still, we're back to, I think, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, I'm not sure. They had a bunch of stuff that was on clearance. And I wasn't really planning on getting anything, but then I saw these things and I was like, ah, okay, they're really inexpensive. So I wear these hoops every day, which I absolutely love, but sometimes I feel like they don't match like the vibe. Sometimes you need a little bit more like of a sleek hoop. Um, so I got these little chunky hoops. Um, like I said, they, they were on clearance, and so I thought that they were good. I could just throw them in for whenever. And also, you guys know my love for that like obnoxious green color. I don't know what it is, but I saw these, and I just loved them. I thought they were so cute, and I thought maybe like these would look cute together. So I'll be trying those on later, and I'll show you, I'm sure. And then these were on sale. These were eight bucks. I thought they were just so cute. They're like neutral, snaky. I just thought they'd be good for the gym and I thought they were just so cute. And then I got one other pair, I forgot about these. I need to try these on though because these looked really, really, really tiny, but um, they were inexpensive. And I basically just wear leggings like all day, every day. So I wanted to get some different, like some like neutrally ones and cause I basically just wear black ones, so. I have a few things from Target and from Ulta. I basically ran out of like all of my makeup and everything at the exact same time. So I just grabbed some, like a few things. I'll just do a little haul. I am going to do a Mandy's Monthly Music Monday, which actually will probably already be up for you guys. So I will link it up here if it is. If not, it's coming. I didn't upload it ideally when I wanted to, but I didn't have new makeup yet and I wanted to wait until I did so I could try that out for you guys. So it's kind of gonna be like a first impressions video because I'm gonna film it tomorrow and then you guys will see. So first, um, I was in desperate need of new concealer and like contour. This is going to drive me. I need to, hold on. I need to stick this down. I'm gonna go out of my mind. Hey, momento. Okay, I'm back and hopefully the lash is sticking now. I've been using the same like contour thing for like, I, I don't even know, probably since high school. It's actually disgusting. So I definitely needed a new one because I definitely kept breaking out. And um, I just got another one. I hope this is the same color I had for contouring. So I'm gonna try a different way of contouring. You know that like facelift contour, we'll see. I have been wanting, I've been saying this to you guys for the longest time, like, a nice lip liner to like just do an everyday lip with just like a lip liner with like gloss like literally nothing crazy like a very neutral lip but just so like because when it gets to the end of the day my lips like blend in with my face and even right after I do my makeup my lips blend in with my face so that's really cute I have been like looking all over TikTok. I'm so 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 picky I don't want anything that's like too dark too mauve -y, too you know Nothing like that. I wanted something super neutral. So there were two lip liners that I saw on TikTok that like did it for me. This was one of them. This is the NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Lip Color Liner in the color Need Me. And I will show you this on. I'm definitely gonna do it in the video tomorrow, so we will see. And then the other one, if you are curious, because this is the one that really got me, but I need to order it and that's why I haven't done it yet. The Morphe Coffee and Kissy Lip Liner. And then they just put like a clear gloss over it. So, 
So I got that. I'm really pumped to try that out. I got another um, NYX micro brow pencil because I'm sure I will need this soon. I go through these things like water. Um, I got this for not really any particular reason. It was really cheap. I think it was like only like 90 cents or something like that. Um, just like a brown eye pencil for like a little wing liner action. I don't really know, we'll see. But I got it, I wasn't planning on it and then I saw that it was cheap and so I got it. This is from Essence. This is the long lasting eye pencil in hot chocolate. I am literally despising my powder. My makeup has looked like absolute trash for the past few weeks um, with this powder I'm using. I went back to the Airspun powder and my face is literally disgusting every time I use it. I don't know if it's my skin. I feel like my skin is in even extra dry right now so I was gonna say that maybe that's it but I don't even think I can give it an excuse. It just looks like trash. I knew I hated it and then I got the milk makeup powder. The milk makeup powder was fine. I just wasn't in love with it. So I'm trying the Fit Me powder again. We will see how this goes. I'm not sure if I got the right color. I feel like I definitely didn't. I got it in light medium, but I like almost always have my face tanned now. Um, I'm pretty good about keeping up with my fake tan. Well, I guess I wouldn't say pretty good, but <laughs> My face is basically always tan, so hopefully this will be fine. And then I got this, which I was so pumped they had. I really was thinking it was probably going to be sold out everywhere. I just saw it the other day. Um, it's this NYX The Brow Glue. So basically it's like to get the soap brow effect, um, but without soap, so says it's not sticky um, and it looks like it works really well. So I'm really pumped to give it a shot. We'll see. And then lastly from Ulta, I just got some St. Marie's um, dark tanning mousse. I'm all out of my loving tan and I just didn't want to like have a period in between me having loving tan and like, so I wouldn't be able to hand myself I can't talk right now so I just got this because it's like pretty inexpensive and I might just needed it to like touch up a few spots and so this is just in the meantime while I wait for my loving tan so okay and then I have a few more makeup things from Target I got my the lure Lux cashmere number eight lashes again I found these through my girl Gabby and um, she has the best lashes always, and I was like, I need to know what these are. I had them before. I absolutely loved them. Um, I have been struggling with my lashes lately. I've just been like wearing random pairs. I was trying to like cut them so they weren't as like go into the center of my eye as far. I'm having a rough t period of time trying to figure out makeup, but I wanted to keep trying new things this year. I mentioned that in my like New Year's resolutions video to just like keep trying new makeup, keep trying to learn different techniques and stuff. And so it's a learning process. You don't get it right the first time, but I knew that I really loved these and I was kind of just sick of like struggling trying to figure out lashes. So I got those. I got the House of Lashes False Lash Adhesive. This one is just really, really great. Um, they sell it at Target now, which is fantastic. It was always like a struggle trying to get this. You had to order it through their website and a lot of the time it was sold out. So it's really nice they have it at Target now. And it was the last one there, it was perfect. I also finally got a sharpener so I could sharpen all the lip pencils that I do have and can't use because they're completely dead. Oh, this is from Marshalls, but I got a 10 foot phone charger because I'm so sick of not being able to use my phone while I'm like sitting down anywhere. It's like a three foot one and I hate it with my entire being. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is also, I didn't get a bag at um, Marshall, so that's why these things are randomly shoved in here. Guys, this is such a weird thing to recommend. I almost, yeah, I feel really weird recommending this, but like, you need it. They sell like essential oil bathroom sprays at like Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, whatever. And when I tell you that this is the best smelling like bathroom spray I've ever smelled, I consider wearing it as like perfume. Like that is how good it smells. My mom like had it and we went into this bathroom somewhere and it smelled so bad. And my mom like 
sprayed it and I didn't even know that she sprayed it. She just like did it. I came out and I was like, that bathroom smells so good. And she was like, oh, I sprayed this. Like I, I wonder if that's what it was. And I smelled it. I was like, are you kidding me? It's literally, like I said, I could literally wear it as perfume. So um, it's by Smells Be Gone. It's the Eucalyptus Mint Essential Oil Bathroom Spray. It is, it smells so good. If you see this, you need to get it. It smells so good. Like I'm literally just gonna randomly spray it around our apartment because it just smells that good, so. And then the final thing, I saw these and I just had to give them a shot because they're gluten free and birthday cake. And that means I need to try. So they're these Partake birthday cake crunchy cookies. Um, they're vegan, gluten free, and they have sprinkles in them. And need I say more? So I'll give these a try. Let you guys know how they are. And um, before I actually burst into flames, I need to go put this. It cut me off because I was recording too long. Before I burst into flames, I need to go put this lamp in my room and see how it looks. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I have all our sheets and pillowcases off and everything, so obviously this isn't gonna like be the final look, but like, so right now, I hated that it wasn't even before we literally had like nothing on Evan's thing. Like it was just nothing. And so it looks really uneven and just like unfinished. So. Um, I put this on there briefly. I moved the lamp over to his side, but I'm the one that really likes to use it. I like to have it on at night and then like shut it off while I'm in bed. So we have a lamp on because we don't have an overhead light in here, so it gets annoying. I moved it back over there last night because I had my extension cord, my whole phone predicament, like I just said. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a light bulb, throw it in, and then we will see what this looks like. Obviously, you guys will see it better tomorrow when I make the bed um, and have the pillows on and everything, but I'm just so excited. I'm also like kind of really hating that picture above our bed. I feel like it's not big enough. I don't know. I was like thinking about it today while we were out. I feel like I'm just like not that happy with it. It looks like fine when I have like the pillows on, like it matches. I just don't know if I'm like in love with it, but I don't know. We'll see. Bill, what do you think? What do you think? Huh? Did I think you're thing? There's the pig, huh? Yep. Cute. Very cute. Mwah. Mwah. It's so cute. Okay, the light bulbs aren't the same. And the bed is still not made. But it just looks so much better already. I'm so happy. Okay, yeah, definitely gonna need to get matching light bulbs because that does not look fab. But Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. Yay! Yeah. Yay! More life for the pig, too! Yeah, more life for the pig! Yeah, for you! Yeah! You can be in the dark anymore! You get lots of light! Yeah! <laughs> I just tried on these first pair of leggings, and I like them. I need to move this because it's gonna like stick me in the eye. So the thing, only thing about them is that they're really, really long and I, but I was able to like tuck them under and I feel like you can't really tell that much. So they're kind of like a taupey-ish color, I guess I would say. I feel like they're cute. Um, they are pretty tight, but I feel like once I like wear them a bit, they're gonna like stretch out and they'll be fine. So I think these are, a success. Next pair. Okay, so this is the next pair. I feel like, I don't know. I mean, they're cozy. The length is like perfect. I just don't know if I love them on. Maybe it's just because I don't like this outfit with it or sweatshirt with it. I don't know. I just feel like pattern like puts on like 10 pounds. I don't know. Opinion on these leggings, cause I can't decide. Like, there's 
what, 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 like what kind of wear. Workout? Yeah, but I don't have to work pants. Okay. There were eight bucks. Oh, just keep them. Well, like, I feel like they make me look like 10 pounds heavier. I don't know. Okay, basically right now, my side table always looks like this. But let's tidy her up. Okay, so this obviously looks much better, much cleaner, very sleek. I don't know how I'm going to put this, I guess. Um, like, I don't know if I'm gonna leave it in the front, but then I feel like you can't see the bottom of the lamp. So maybe I'll do like that or something. I'm not totally sure, but we'll figure it out. I think she's cute. And it like matches like the vibe of this table like so well. So yeah, much better. Okay, so I just started cleaning out my vanity here. Ignore Evan watching a fight in the back. It's literally like 12.38. I don't know why Ooh. I'm doing this Ooh. right now. So I'm just gonna clear this, but I was gonna like give you guys before. I just cleared this spot out. It was basically just all my brushes. I brought them in the bathroom. They really need to be cleaned. So a little before, this needs to be cleaned real bad. Okay, well I still have to wash my brushes, but I just wiped all this stuff down. I like to like disinfect um, or just like wipe down basically and clean off all my makeup every once in a while because it gets like build up of just like makeup residue, whether it be like foundation or powder. And so I just organized it, wiped it all down. I added in the stuff that I got today. Um, and then I've been keeping my brushes over here just so they don't look like cluttered on top of my vanity. So I still need to wash those. I'm gonna have to do that tonight because I need to film my Mandy's Monthly Makeup Monday tomorrow. I need to do that. I'm gonna clean these beauty blenders as well. Um, I'm gonna go do that right now. Okay, so I have all of my makeup brushes here. Well, not all of them, but the majority. I'm gonna kind of show you guys what I do. Actually, I think I'm gonna use one of these. I have these from Practic by Sigma. So you can like put it on your hand like this and clean your brushes this way or you can open it and kind of like stick it to the inside of your sink which i'm gonna do right now my sink needs to be clean so ignore that but um then i just take a bar of soap i usually like using the dr bronner's soap but um i just have this neutrogena one here because i had it extra so i'm just going to take this I turn on the water pretty warm and then I'm just going to take my brush, get it a little wet, get the soap a little wet, and just kind of like rub it all around on the bar of soap. And then I'm going to go ahead and rinse. You can see it's coming out uh, pretty dirty actually, I don't know if you can see. But then I'm just gonna rub it against this mat to kind of clean it out a little bit. So I'm just rinsing it, squeezing it. I'm gonna keep putting soap on it until it gets clean. And then I'm gonna get a towel and let them dry overnight. I just washed my makeup brushes. My head is pounding. It's like two o'clock in the morning. I need to go to bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed. I'm gonna plug my camera into its charger so that I am ready to film tomorrow. And I have a lot planned to get done. So I'll take you guys along through it all. Good night. I will see you in the morning.
Hello, happy Sunday. My makeup is pretty trash today, so we're just not gonna talk about it. Good thing I didn't film my Manny's Monthly Music, I mean Man Makeup Monday, because I mm, need some help. I need some practice, so. And then the lips look ridiculous. Not loving that liner I got. I think that that other Morphe one that I told you guys about it is probably gonna be more what I'm looking for, so. I just have to pull the trigger and order it. We are about to go thrifting, and I haven't been thrifting in so long. I just had like a craving last night, and I'll like let you guys know I think what I'm looking for when we get in the car. Okay, so just a little bit of like a what I'm looking for type thing really quick. Okay, so. You act like you're gonna like just get what you want. I know, but I think it would be good to manifest what I want. And then if we find it, then I'll be like, oh my God. And I wasn't like, just like, I was looking for this. Like you'll actually know that I was looking for it. Okay, so um, I am really manifesting that I find a um, Von Dutch hat. And I really cannot even tell you why I want one because they're actually What's a Von Dutch? hideous. You literally would be like, ew. And why, why do you, you get one at a thrift store? Because they're like vintage ones. And they're, they're gonna be in style. I'm calling it now. Um, so, looking for one. But like it has to be, oh my gosh, this camera really fluctuates with the lighting. It has to be like like a cute one. Like there are some really ugly ones. I mean it could be like ugly cute. They're kind of all ugly cute. But there are some that are just flat out ugly. I, I, I'm gonna be picky. I also would love to find like some sort of like silk. And not like real silk, but like silky like collared top. I always hear that the women's like lingerie section has like nice stuff for like obviously like corset tops and stuff are really in right now so they say always check there so we're gonna be checking there and maybe some bags you, you know i love a good bag so we will see and i'm gonna try and do a little like tiktok reel action during this as well so check out my instagram and tiktok at I'm a man Louise for that. Okay, um, I'm the worst and I didn't take any video clips inside, but it was so successful. I'm like so pumped. I didn't find anything, like the things that I said that I was looking for, but I should have mentioned that I like definitely wanted to look in the jackets as well. Um, and I found some like really nice jackets, like blazers, and I'm like really pumped, so. Nothing cool for me. Nothing cool for Evan, but we're actually heading to another town where they have, um, what, a Goodwill and a Savers? Yeah, and Salvation Army. And a Salvation closed. Army, but they're closed today, or right now. We're gonna hit the Goodwill and Savers, and then there's a Target as well. We're gonna go there. Um, yeah, let's do it. Okay, guys, so it's um, a bit later now. It's like nine. 44 and um, it's gonna be really annoying. You guys might have already seen it, but um, I'm going to be filming a like how I would style my, well, maybe I'll do like a little, I might do like a little thrift with me real TikTok thing and then maybe I'll do like a how I style my thrifted items one. I'm not sure, we'll see how it goes. I might try and do both, and maybe it'll just end up being one. But that should already be up for you guys because I plan on posting it tomorrow. So go check out my TikTok and Instagram at I'm Amanda Louise to see everything that I found today. I like feel like I hit the jackpot. I'm like super pumped. I already have like visions for basically everything. I'm really, really excited. It's like I said, 9:44. I took a melatonin a little while ago because. As I think I mentioned earlier in this vlog, this upcoming week I am going to be filming a like strict like schedule. And hopefully it's just going to be my regular schedule going forward, but I'm gonna be giving it like a full trial this week. I'm gonna be vlogging it for you guys 
and I'm like going to try and follow it the absolute best that I can and just see if it's doable and then if I need to adjust anything for the upcoming weeks, like I'll give it like a real test to see if it can be done this week. So I definitely need to get to bed early because my alarm is set for 7 a.m. And I am headed straight to the gym at that point. So if you guys are interested in seeing that vlog, I'm gonna try and just like show you guys like everything. I've been wanting to set a super strict schedule for myself for a while because now that I'm doing social media full time, I really need to treat it as a job. And I always get like the bare minimum work done, but I wanna really put in a lot of effort and my all into everything that I post. So that is the goal um, for 2021 and on. Um, and hopefully we'll start next week. So we have a little bit of laundry that's on the bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold that and put it away now. And then I'm gonna head to bed. I'm feeling really tired. Actually, shoot, I wanted to edit my Mandy's Monthly Music Monday tonight. I might try and edit it because it actually shouldn't take very long. Now that I've filmed it so many times, I kind of know where to stop filming the songs. So it should be actually a pretty quick edit. Maybe I'll try and edit that tonight and then just like watch it back tomorrow morning. Love that for me. All my things just fell in the closet. <laughs> Let's go and clear off the bed, shall we? Okay guys, so we just tidied up. I'm so sorry, I like have not shown you anything. I don't even know if this vlog is gonna be posted. We're all prepped and ready for tomorrow. I tidied up the apartment. Um, I need to vacuum in here really bad, but we have quiet hours after 10, and so too late. But I have my things here for tomorrow, so a little sneak peek. I like cleaned up the bathroom a bit. I swept and swiffered a little bit. We just have some stuff here um, ready for the gym tomorrow. And the kitchen is pretty tidy. We have our garbage out for tomorrow. Yeah, we're pretty much all cleaned up and ready for the week. So um, it's now like 10.37. It is a little bit later than I wanted to get to bed, um, but I'm pretty tired, so I think I'm gonna pass out pretty quick. So thank you guys so much for watching this weekend in my life video. Um, get ready for this next upcoming week's week in my life vlog. I have a really good feeling about it and I'm excited to get on a good schedule. So let's get into it and crush it this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all endlessly. And until the next video, stay blessed and don't forget to live lovely. Bye.